the jurors who cleared Kyle Rittenhouse on the five charges against him, ranging from intentional homicide to reckless homicide to reckless endangerment, haven't yet spoken publicly. When they do, they'll likely be asked, where did they find reasonable doubt? But that's the wrong question, civil rights attorney Jamie Y told USA Today after the Illinois teen was found not guilty Friday in a polarizing case that further split America along political and racial lines more than a year after he shot three men, two fatally, during a night of protests in Ken. Dot they never got there. It was all about, was he, Rittenhouse, acting reasonably at the time of the shootings? The reasonable doubt was self-defense, contended Laurie Aretia, a veteran criminal defense attorney based in Los Angeles. If you've got them convinced of self-defense, if you've got them to believe that every, if you believe him when he says self-defense, then you have to acquit him. Other legal experts also expressed little surprise with the verdict I think that anyone who saw the evidence could see that the jury might have a difficult time coming to a unanimous decision that Kyle Rittenhouse was in death, they were deciding a very specific legal question, do they think the prosecutors proved beyond a reasonable doubt that it wasn't self-defense, ABC chief legal analyst Dan Abrams said on World News Tonight, adding he believed videos of the shootings were particularly impactful on the jury.